One Night Ultimate Werewolf is a social deduction game for 3 to 10 players. The game plays out in three stages and can last as little as five minutes. This video will explain each of the game's 12 roles. For a basic overview of how to play, see the basic overview video. Any game of One Night Ultimate Werewolf must include two werewolves. During the night, werewolves open their eyes and acknowledge each other. If there is only one werewolf and the group uses the lone wolf variant, the lone wolf may look at one of the cards in the center. This should make it easier for the werewolf to lie during the day phase. The minion serves the werewolves and knows who they are, but he isn't a werewolf himself. This means that the werewolf team, including the minion, still wins even if the villagers shoot the minion. After the werewolves acknowledge each other and close their eyes, the narrator tells the minion to open his eyes. The werewolves stick up their thumbs so that the minion knows who they are. During the night, the seer may look at one other player's card or two unclaimed cards in the center. Looking at another player's card lets the seer know for sure who that player was at the start of the night, but looking in the center gives the seer more information to work with. When called, the robber gives his card to another player, then takes that player's card and looks at it. This could mean that the robber changes teams, becoming a werewolf, minion, or tanner. In any of these cases, the robber would likely lie about whose card he stole. The troublemaker switches to other players' cards. The troublemaker cannot use her action to change her own card, and cannot look at the cards she swaps. During the day, the troublemaker can use true or false claims about who she swapped to get other players to disclose information. If the group uses masons, they must use both masons. The masons open their eyes and acknowledge each other after the werewolves. This gives the villager team a solid start on identifying friendly players. The drunk never knows who he is. At the end of the night, the drunk exchanges his card with one of the unclaimed cards in the middle. He does not look at his new card. The insomniac always wakes up knowing who she is. At the end of the night, she looks at her card. If her card has changed, she will know. The doppelganger is the most complicated role in the game. At the beginning of the night, the doppelganger opens her eyes and looks at another player's card. The doppelganger then becomes that role. If the doppelganger becomes a werewolf or mason, she opens her eyes during the appropriate phase. If the doppelganger becomes a villager with a night action, the doppelganger immediately takes that action unless she becomes the insomniac, in which case she looks at her card at the end of the night. We recommend that players use the One Night Ultimate Werewolf smartphone application for any game that includes the doppelganger. One Night Ultimate Werewolf also includes three roles that do not act during the night. The villager is the most basic role. The villagers take no actions and know only their own identities. The hunter takes no night actions but has a special ability. If players kill the hunter, then whichever player the hunter pointed at is also killed. The tanner doesn't take any actions, but he's on his own team. He hates his job and wants to die. If the players kill the tanner, the tanner wins. This completes our explanation of all the roles in One Night Ultimate Werewolf. For an overview of the game's basics, see our basic overview video. This has been a Clever Move Quick Play. For more board game information, news, and fun, visit clevermovegames.com.